everyone. This is uh, Everground from MMOn.com forums. And if you don't know what MMOn is, go ahead and go to visit MMOn.com for guides and tips and tricks about World of Warcraft. Um, this guide in particular is going to be focusing on limited supply items. And limited supply items are items that are bought from a vendor, but you can only buy a limited supply. So let's say a recipe you can only buy once and it disappears for a couple hours or for a day. So they become rare and they sell for high value on the auction house because no one's going out and getting them. Obviously it depends from server to server and what the prices are going to be, but generally they're pretty good. Uh, as you can see I started in Tenaris, so if you're in Dalaran you can take the port right over and this is where the route starts. I go to these two vendors and look for the limited supply items and buy them. Um, I know in the past there has been lots and lots of guides and pretty much everyone knows about limited supply items but for years and years I kind of threw it aside and figured I'm not gonna waste my time to buy something to make a couple gold on it because I could be doing dailies or I can be farming anything else for that amount of gold but the thing about this route is that it's under an hour I can do this route in under an hour and make about a thousand gold an hour doing this um, in this video you'll see at the end I'll show you my entire inventory from the one route and it, I adding it up it was well over a thousand gold obviously it's gonna depend from server to server but on my server I'm able to get away with pretty high prices if I saw at the right time so this method really isn't for fast turnaround don't expect to use it and say oh my god I'm gonna do this all day and make 20,000 gold in a day it, it doesn't work like that the appeal of these items are that they are rare so you obviously never ever 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 want to post more than one of these items on the auction house at a time if you post two or three it's gonna show the buyer that they're not that rare and maybe they'll think twice about buying it I don't know but the appeal of these items are that they are rare and people are lazy and don't want to go get them so do what you want but if you want to be profitable in this only sell one at a time so what I like to do is go once in the morning and once at night and send it to a bank hall and every day list one of each item and I've been doing fine by doing that um, so what I want you guys to do is just watch this video and follow my route and see what you guys can come up with obviously some servers uh, might have more people doing this than others um, the prices might be different so do a little research prior and find out you know the value of each item on your server um, another thing that you guys want to keep in mind is that you'll see me buy items that actually aren't limited supply some items actually sell for a lot on the auction house even though anyone can go buy it at any time they're not rare at all uh, it's pretty insane but people are lazy and people just want to buy it right now and not have to go out of their way and that's fine by me because it makes me a lot of gold so my general rule of thumb is if you see me buy an item that's not limited supply I only buy one each except for fireworks I buy five fireworks at a time but let's say that the herb pouch there's a 10 slot herb pouch that's green that sells for like 40 silver I think I buy it right here maybe not um, but either way only buy one you don't want to buy 10 each time and have a thousand of them you're not it's not gonna do you any good so buy one at a time and uh, that's about it right there that, that two-handed intellect recipe right there sells on my server for about 18 gold I just bought that for under a gold, so that's always good. But, like I said, go ahead and start in Tenaris. Do those two uh, vendors. Go to Gadgetstan. Do the two vendors there. Then you want to hearth and uh, port to Ironforge and go through this little route right here. It's c pretty convenient. It's in a semicircle. So, uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, the one, A couple vendors back uh, in the tailoring up on the top, there's a guy that sells the tuxedo patterns. And I'll show you guys a couple screenshots or um, video, whatever you guys want. But on my server, I control the tuxedo market and I'm able to get away with selling it for over 40 gold each. 40 gold each, guys. That's that's a 39 gold profit 
by clicking on it. By click right by right clicking. I mean it's it's kind of ridiculous. I can't believe I look I looked over this uh, for years. But either way, you want to research your server and um, you know buy the items that you don't see very often because you can pretty much set your own price and it will sell. Especially with the tuxedo, people will buy all three tuxedo patterns at the same exact time because they're a new tailor and they want the whole set or they think it's cool, whatever. But I, I post them all for 48, 48, 48 and they all sell. So I might even, I'm going to try even higher soon. And this is me killing a rat. Uh, thought I'd throw that in there. Oh, and right here, I wanted to show you guys, uh, I almost missed the tram. Oh, there's my deadly gladiator mount. But watch this, I almost missed the tram and I barely make it. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but after you do that route in Iron Forge, you take the take the tram to Stormwind and do this route. It starts off by the blacksmithing supplies. He drops, or he sells a pattern. Uh, it's not too it's not too high of profit normally, but I usually just get it because any profit's better than no profit. So go ahead and stop by him, and then off to the mage quarter where you're gonna find even more items to sell. Just it's almost the same items in Auction House, so usually you get about two of every item by doing one whole route. Uh, what else can I say about this guide? Uh, I'll probably get, you know, I'll probably get a lot of questions about a horde version, and if there's enough demand, I'll be happy to do it. Um, here's the fishing supplies. Every fishing supply vendor sells the same items. Look at that brilliant small fish. That thing sells for 34 copper, and it's not even limited. Anybody could go buy that. I get away with selling that for 20 gold sometimes. It says what? It says it says 5 gold right now is the current price, but I've I've sold it for higher. So either way, 34 copper, 5 gold, not a bad gig. Uh, but like I said, I'll probably do a horde version if I can because there's a lot of good items, especially in Silver Moon. The pets and things like that are awesome. Um, but here I am in the mage quarter. I'm going to go to the alchemy. Uh, the alchemy sells an el elixir of shadow power recipe, which sells very really well. I don't think I get it on this run. Maybe I do. Uh, but there's that herb patch again. Herb pouch, like I said, only buy one. Don't buy it at each vendor. Here's some nice herbs and the elixir shower. Uh, I mean powder. <laughs> wow, power. Let's see what the auctioneer says on the recipe. I don't think it's very high as of recently, but eight gold. So. 8 gold for 85 silver, not bad. But like I said, this isn't to rush. You guys, you gotta stock up on these items and sell at the right time. You know, this isn't go spam the auction house and get gold now. I'm assuming you guys have, you know, level 1 alts already and kind of know how to make gold. And this is just something you guys should throw into your routine like I do. This isn't, you know, like, I'm not the first person to do this. I just wanted to put it together in a nice route that it didn't feel like you were going out of your way or, or you were spending too much time doing this. So th I found this to be the best combo of towns, hearths, flight paths to get the best profit in the shortest amount of time. That's pretty much my goal here. It more uh, strange does, you gotta be careful for some servers it doesn't even sell for 6 silver. Mine usually sells I think for about 12 silver but sometimes more. But you know, like I said, profit's profit. and. Uh, I'll probably end up adding up this run. You guys can see everything in my bags. Obviously, I'm not lying. Um, I'll add up everything and let you guys know what, what run run this one is worth. So now, after you do that route, you're going to fight a Booty Bay. Booty Bay is the best town overall for uh, limited, su ow, limited supply items. Um, they have about, I don't know, 10 vendors that sell some really great stuff. And nobody really comes out here because it's a really confusing town. Um, so, yeah. So I start off by actually going out of Booty Bay, um, and I go up the coast by the Blood Cell level 40 mobs. This is because there's a tailoring guy out there that sells plans for the Admiral hat, I think it is. And on my server, it sells for 50 gold. Uh, I don't get it on this run, sadly, but I have a couple on my bank. Uh, I've been able to get away with selling it for 50 gold, and um, with my rep with Gadgetstan or, or Booty Bay, um, I think I buy it for under a gold or two gold. Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't get it. But either way, that's a, that's worth going out of your way to go check that guy. Um, so we go back to Booty Bay here, stay on the top level, and uh, go to the leatherworking first. I think I get some nice stuff.